Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. First of all, before I start, I do want to say sorry if my voice sounds different. I am coming down with some kind of illness, probably like generic cold, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so if I sound like congested or whatever, that's why. Um, but you can see here we have an iPod Nano. This is a fourth generation in the orange color and there's some weird thing going on with the display there. But basically, I'm going to set this down on the desk and actually I can move the uh, tripod way down. And sorry for the obnoxious noise there and for the sun uh, cutting across the shot there but um, yeah so this is my iPod Nano and it's like way out of frame now actually but uh, basically I got this in I believe Christmas of 2009 from my grandma it is the 8 gigabyte variant so now you can see the little 8 gig logo on the back there I'll try and get that in the light better but in this video, I'm going to just kind of be playing around with it because I found it in a uh, cupboard uh, yesterday and I haven't seen it in like four years or so. I just ended up losing it at some point and there you go. So if we turn it on here, you can see it is locked, Adam's iPod Nano as it's called. So what we're going to be doing in this video is plugging it in, uh, restoring it and like resetting it and then um, I guess just playing around with it in general. So, yeah, I'm trying to think. I do have a 30-pin uh, dock connector with me. So what we're going to do, actually I can probably do a screen recording for this. So you can see here we have iTunes open and my phone is plugged in there. You can see AMS iPhone. That is just because I need to charge it while recording because I don't have a wall wart anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this iPod in and it is connected now. And it should come up. Yep, here we go. A new iPod software version 1.0.4 is available for the iPod Adam's iPod Nano. Would you like to download it and update your iPod now? Um, no, we are going to restore it first. So, of course, I didn't actually show it, but the iPod is... Um, the iPod is uh, locked. I have a password of some sort on it. And because I haven't seen it in a while, um, well, I don't know the password. So I'm going to go ahead and select Restore iPod here. I do have music and stuff on here, but I can't access it because it's with my dad's very old email on a different Apple ID, etc. There's a whole bunch of reasons why I can't access it. And um, I, I just really, like, don't care too much. I have the music on my current Apple ID anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and select Restore and Update. That's that's pretty nice there, um, that it automatically um, wants to update. So um, iPod Nano, fourth generation software, 1004, fixed issue, blah, 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 daylight settings, daylight savings settings, Thai song information. Oh, so Thai, like the language, I think. Felt that was a typo for a sec. But yeah, so you can see, we are restoring it. And um, you saw the iPod was mounted up there. It's not anymore unmounted. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password. And you can see I have, um, I had the Back to the Future soundtrack because I was obsessed with that movie. Um, Pro Part 4.1, that is, something for the Mac Pro videos. Um, and then I have a bunch of Computer Clan music on here, and I use that in my uh, two years video. Great music. Um, all right, so the iPod is indeed restarting. So I'm gonna switch back to the video recording now. Sync with iTunes, get started. So, you can see we have the name and everything. Um, check for update, current version, as well as far as it can go. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty cool. It does indeed work here. So, um, this ended up being like a rather short video. Um, well, for now at least. Um, I want to do. I do want to try something here. We will use the audio recording. This is the voiceover I did at the end of the video. So, 
what we're going to do is go to music on my device and drag it over, right? And then what we can do here, artwork, and we can drag that over. And I was going to have an electronics and dubstep or electronic and dubstep music folder on my phone. And because um, I realize you can have custom pictures for playlists in iTunes. So, um, yeah. So what we're going to do now is switch back over to my phone or camera and we're going to try this out. This thing has a 1.4 gigahertz process. No, that's actually the iPhone 6 because I was comparing the specs on this to my iPhone. But if we go here, you can see music, hashtag rip cover flow. Vortex was a fun game if I remember correctly. Press center button. But it's like it's like single player pong of some sort. But yeah, basically you do this and now oh, there we go. See, it works now. But yeah, you can have like custom art for the song. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna kind of like figure this out a bit more. Kind of a short, really weird, messed up, incoherent video. But anyway, that's the uh, it's the iPod Nano fourth generation. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.